For today's penny hunt, we're gonna open a penny box from Regions Bank in Hoover, Alabama. Hey everybody, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure, and that's right, we've got another penny hunt today, and this box is from Hoover, Alabama. Now, it's been checked for circulation and resealed, thanks to Andrew's Coins and Stuff, who went ahead and sent me a box to hunt in trade for a mat. Andrew's Coins and Stuff, thank you very much for the kind letter, and of course, the box that I get to hunt from Alabama. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get this box open. Now that you've checked it for circulation for me, I would imagine it is going to be circulated penny rolls. Let's go ahead and take a quick peek and see what you saw when you popped the top for me. All right, there we go. We got some rolls laying down. I will reorganize the box, make sure we have all 50, but it looks like we do because we've got five rows and then a few extras that will probably fill up the rest of this box. Let me go ahead and get that situated and we'll be back. All right, we've got the rolls organized and uh, I'm pretty excited because when I straightened them up, picked up the ones in front, I did notice that one of them was a wheat scent ender. Now I have not checked both sides of all the rolls. I merely situated them and by setting them up, saw that we had a wheat scent ender. So we know we're gonna have at least one wheat scent in this box, hopefully a lot more. As you guys know, as always, I'll be using my Penny Coin Roll Hunt mat and my microscope and links to these we found down below should you be interested in getting any of this stuff. Since we have a wheat scent ender, I figured why not kick it off with a find and see what year it is. First roll of the box, first find of the box, the wheat scent ender, a 1944 from Philly. We're on roll two of the box and it looks like we're gonna have back-to-back -back rolls with the wheat scent. An ender on the first roll with a 1944 and a 1945. Two wheat scents, two rolls, let's go. Roll number seven, popped it open, flattened it out, and uh, we've got a wheat back set right there. Let's take a look at it and see what year it is. 1944D, so we can put it under the scope and see if there's a possible D over S. On the D over S, which I have a video for, and I'll put a link to it up here, you will really clearly see an S mint mark in here. And even though we see something going on here, it's actually so heavy that it makes this look like a triangle point on this D. I don't see that. I do see some discoloration, but definitely not a 44 D over S. It's a very rare find if you can find a 44 D over S. I have found one, but not a second one. Either way, second 44 find of the box, three wheat cents. Roll 14 and we have a Canadian cent. First one from Alabama, 1973. Roll number 26 and with as many Philadelphia minted coins as I have been hunting lately from Northeast and including this Alabama box which has a lot more Philadelphia minted coins than I find in Texas, it was only a matter of time before I scoped myself a 1998, got it under the scope, flipped it over, and sure enough, we have a wide AM. Wide AM is a variety you can find from 98, 99, and 2000. You can see here that there is a gap between the A and the M. That's why it's called a wide AM. The reverse die was supposed to be used that had a close AM, but they accidentally used a wide AM variety on those three years. The 98 and the 2000 are the more common ones, worth about $25 in mint state condition. And this probably is mint state, barely, but it is definitely in mint state condition. So it's a $25 find. I mean, that would be resale value. Probably can get them for about 10 to 15 bucks. But if you find a 99, that my friend is the valuable one. Either way, I have a whole bunch of these. It's been a while since I found it, and you know what? We're on a little bit of a variety kick lately, and that makes me happy. I'll get that one flipped up and added to the book, and we'll find some more goodies. Roll number 38, and it's been a while, but we have finally found our fourth wheat scent of the box, 1953 Denver. So kind of a light box for wheat scent so far, but anytime you can find a variety, the box is definitely a good one. 
Let's see if we eke out one or two more Wheaties before the box is through. Well, unfortunately, we finished the box and did not find another wheat scent. Only four. Two from 1944, one from 1945, and one 53 Denver. Light on the wheat scent finds, but we had some other goodies. We found a Canadian scent. We ended up with five 1959s and three pretty nice Lincoln Memorial scents, a 62D, a 64D, and a 71S, which I just don't find very many nice S-minted Lincoln Memorial scents. So we'll add that to the collection. On top of that, we did pull out a 2000 Philadelphia Mint, and it did have a pretty decent die crack on it right there. We found a 92, I believe, or 98 the other day with a similar die crack, but I'll be holding on to that one. I don't have too many 2000s with die cracks. I have a lot of 83s, but not 2000s. I kept a couple of these Philadelphia minted 94s and 97s. Look at the condition of this. There is nothing wrong with this coin. It's got a tiny black dot above the C on the reverse, but outside of that, that's one of the nicest 94s I've seen. The box had a lot of nice 94s and a lot of nice 97s. These were the two best examples from the box. We'll check them against my album, see if they upgrade. They would have to receive Mint State 68 grades in order for me to think about submitting them. I don't know, PCGS is very tough on 68s. I think they're 66, 67 all day. Maybe there's a 68 in there. I'll scope them later and let you know. The find of the hunt, a 98 wide AM and probably MS 62 or 63 condition. And I'll take it. It's one of the nicer ones I have. I do have about 10 of these, maybe 12, but this is probably top two or three. I just don't find them this nice very often. Happy to have found it. Thought I was gonna find one on the last hunt, but we didn't. Either way, it was a very fun hunt. Like I said, light on the wheat scents, but still some good finds. We had our normal amount of copper that I see here in Texas in Alabama. Again, I want to thank Andrew's Coins and Stuff for sending me this box from Hoover, Alabama. And I appreciate it very much, Andrew. Hopefully you enjoyed this one box penny hunt. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.